Hi, Guido Fox here. Welcome by a new book report. Today I want to talk with you, discuss with you this book of Osho, nearly 150 pages of spiritual information. And the title is Learning to Silence the Mind. Learning to Silence the Mind Wellness through meditation wellness through meditation wonderful right wonderful title here wellness who don't want to be live in a wellness life and that's all about right we want to have a wellness life we want to have a relaxed life we want to have a peaceful life. We want to have a compassionate life. We don't want to have a stressful life, a hurry life, a worrying life. That's what you see nowadays, right? So many people are stressed up with doing so much things. The constant chattering mind. So we are hungering to wellness. Therefore you see also that the wellness industry is going right. It's going well. A lot of people want to go to the sauna and in the water. Water is energy, right? So people are going into water because water is life energy. It's refreshing your soul and your body. So people wants to go in wellness, wants to have a wellness life. But they forgot one thing and that is deep and relaxing meditation. They want to have a relax, relaxing time, but they forgot the most important wellness and that is meditation. We are products in the Western world, especially we are victims from a thinking society. That's very important to mention. We are victims from a thinking society. We are dropped in school systems where we had to think constantly. There was no space for prayer. There was no space for some relaxing time. There was no space for wellness, sauna, taking bath. So we became victims, but also we became used that we are attached and enslaved to our mind. So we are enslaved and attached at our mind and we don't have the power to control our mind. And that is what you want. You want to be the boss you want to be the boss of your mind and not a victim or a slave of your mind. And that is what you see in the psyche of people is that they are slaves. They are unconsciousness slaves of our, of their minds. 
So if you want to grow spiritual wise, if you want to grow in your happiness levels, you have to step out of that thinking society. You have to create a balance for yourself. A balance between thinking and doing. Both, right? 50-50, a thinking job and a doing job. You want to combine it. You want to combine thinking, doing a meditation for optimal balance, energy, balance in your body, in your energy system. You want to have a relaxing life. You don't want to work 8 to 10 hours per day. You want to earn enough money to live. Not too much because you spent also a lot of money to, on youthful things. If I earn more money, I give my money away to unuseful things. So you want to have an investment also in free time. And when you work, you want to earn a lot of money in the hours that you work. And then you create a better life work balance. So we have to step out of the thinking society. We are enslaved of our mind because of our grown up conditioned, rational conditioned society where we born in. If you want to reach the knack, and this sounds as a very short bridge to the next subject, but on page 20, Osho says something about the knack, and that is very, very important to understand. What is a knack? The knack of meditation is that you do everything with so much consciousness, with so much higher mind, that you do everything connected with the Amrita Nadi line in your body. So the knack is nothing more than 24 hours pure and pure awareness. Pure and pure awareness. Connected to your line. Connected to your seven chakras. That's what Osho say, that's the knack, that's the knack of meditation. And once you have got the knack, the attainment of it, you can remain in that state as long as you want. Finally, you can remain in that state for 24 hours per day. 
That's the whole secret of meditation. That you become the watcher. You have to become the watcher. You can watch yourself internally what is going to happen. Be the watcher. And you become clear. You got eyes. For the first time in your life, you got eyes. You become clear. You become clear in your vision. You can see patterns. You can see what is happening about a few years with a person or a company. You have no bulk on your eyes. That's what Jesus was saying. One of the most high spiritual vibration, calibration person who's ever existed next to Buddha and Osho. So you got eyes. You see. You feel what is happening by persons. You feel the emotions by persons. You become intuitive. Your intuition becoming stronger and stronger. You become much more sensitive very sensitive, very vulnerable. You become so open, so open for energies, for persons. They coming so close by you. People coming so into you. That's what happens if you find a knack and if you are connected deeply and deeply with yourself. Buddha was saying and calling that turn in and the name was Parabruti. Parabruti. It's the Buddhist name for constantly turning inwards with everything what you're doing. It's inward flow and outward flow. Inward meditation, outward social day love. Connecting with people, watching the eyes of strangers, sharing love. Inward and outward, both together creates non-duality. Creates oneness. Oneness in your body system. And balance. It's meditation inward. It's social love outward. Both streams. Both streams imperfectly balance. That's your goal. That's your destiny. That's where you soul want to go.
natural spiritual also balance use material use beautiful clothes beautiful cars houses enjoy material fully don't reject luxury also their balance balance between the outer world and balance between the inner world don't show off with being poor don't show off with saying i am very poor i save all my money for poor people and therefore i am poor watch out for the ego there the ego is coming going coming going in your system it costs some time to dissolve the ego to make it less tighten to your mind dissolving the ego takes some time take some time for that the whole thinking ego society will drop down in your system take some time to find to find the bliss to find the ecstatic bliss in your body took some time why we meditate for four reasons page 160 first remove mentally destructive thinking patterns slash wounds we have to meditate the push from society from family out of your system remove the pains remove the wounds from your past remove the obstacles make it clear make it clean with meditation you remove that blockade and then slowly slowly silence is coming up silence is there deep programming society society is always going in extreme war extreme peace it's a swinger right and i am here to bring some balance some middle way
So deprogramming society thinking, suppressive in the sexual way. We living in a sexual suppressed society where we cannot or it's not acceptable to make free love. in relationships and there all this shit is coming from so kill the suppressions kill the suppressions of angriness of fear of shame or desire kill the suppression And meditation, let's drop the basic chattering mind issues. I have to do the wash, I have to do cleaning my home, I have to do this and that. All those small things. I have to do this, all those list thinking patterns will remove, will be vanished when you go deeper and deeper and your life become more effortless, your life become more smooth. And your life become more relax relaxing slash wellness. So up to a more wellness life, right? Wellness through meditation. Thank you for watching to my video. Share it with your friends. And I see you by the next book report. Hi, hi.